Okay. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Happy Friday. We've been talking about Moses and the Israelites. They have now left Egypt. They are safely in the wilderness, in the desert, and they are wandering around the desert. Well, all the food and supplies they brought, water and all of those things, are now almost completely exhausted. And now the Israelites are beginning to <clears throat> grumble and complain to Moses. We were we had food to eat in Egypt. We had plenty of food. We had water. We have the and now we're almost out of food and we're in the middle of nowhere and we have nothing. What are we going to do? Moses kept saying, God will provide. God will provide. Well, they didn't believe him. They were grumbling and complaining. All of a sudden, that night, a huge flock of birds, quail, descended into the camp. The Israelites were able to collect the birds and cook them. A quail is a smaller version of a chicken. So we all, and, and we laugh and we say, everything tastes like chicken. Well, quail do, but they're just smaller. And they were able to get a fill, of, they were able to cook the quail and eat the quail. But that still, the next morning, there was nothing. And then all of a sudden, there descended from the heavens, this manna. Manna means, what is it? What is this? It was a food similar to bread, but it had nutrients and it was wonderful. And they were able to eat that. But unfortunately, some of them, because they were so worried about not having food, collected some and put them in jars and containers. But guess what? Because they weren't trusting that God would provide, all of a sudden the manna got worms in them. And they went and complained to Moses. We saved some of this manna and now it's got worms in it. We can't eat it. Moses said, you must trust God. God will provide. And each morning, God sent manna fresh manna that they could use. And so the Israelites began to realize that no matter what, God was looking out for them and he would provide. And that's what we have to remember too, that God is always with us. He's always watching us. And sometimes we think we know more than God and we like the Israelites try to store up. But we have to remember that we are here and we have to trust that God will provide for us. And he does in his way, in his time. And sometimes the word that we use all the time, and I use it with you all the time. Y'all know I hear it say it to you all the time. Patience. We must remember to learn to use patience that God will be here for us and provide for us. Let's say our prayer before we go. Dear God, thank you for always being there for us and always providing and taking care of our needs. And all of God's people say, amen. See you next week.